He's a suspension, a rain out. Katie Kong bats the lefty and the pitch from the right-handed Shipley hits the outside corner for a strike. I hadn't seen that in a while before this year. 0-1 pitch. Down and in a ball and a strike on the right fielder Kong. And this year it's happened twice. The pitch will miss away and it's 2-1 and one on Kong. Instead of having the Braves go back there later on. 2-1, down and away, ball three. The 3-1 pitch. In the dirt, ball four. Shipley has walked three batters in the ball game and back to back to start the bottom of the fourth. In the long homestand. Here's the pitch to the lefty Kong. The righty Shipley fires down and away, ball one. In the 1-0 offering. Kong ropes a line drive over first. A fair ball down to the corner. That ball will play pinball off the sidewall. Kong streaking for second. He'll stand up with a double. Katie Kong with his fifth two-bagger of the year. He smokes a line drive straight over first. Now he's tied for the lead in doubles. It's a three-way tie with five doubles at the top. And the Braves' fourth hit is for extra bases. It'll bring up Chris O'Dowd. It was already. Here's the pitch. Popped up. Left side out of the infield. Going back from third. Drury and it drops behind him. Base hit for Kong. On a flare. Katie Kong just pushes one. On a pop right outside of the dirt. In big, big trouble. In game two of the doubleheader, here's the pitch to Kong. High, ball one. Left-handed hitter, Scherfe deals a 1-0, swinging a foul back. The 1-1. Ground ball, right side hole. Diving after it, Flores, and it's passed him into right. Joseph will score from second. Kong gets an RBI. And the Braves make it a three-run eighth inning for an 8-5 lead. Katie Kong with his third hit. His 12th RBI this year. And the Braves have made it as comfortable as you can staying in save situation territory.